of like this guy. I don't know why people are beating up on him so bad. So the M50 Mark II runs about 700 bucks with the kit lens. That's the 15 to 45 millimeter lens that you see here. It's cute, it's lightweight, it's great for vlogging or following your family around or putting it on a tripod and talking to it like I do in my videos. Canon M50 Mark II does have a fully articulating touch screen. If you put your camera into a bag or something, you're gonna wanna protect your screen by tucking it in. Usually I just leave mine exposed like this. Personally, I do prefer this fold out screen rather than a camera that has a flip up screen like the M6 Mark II that I'm shooting on right now. We have a mic plug-in on the side of the camera just like you would expect. By the way, don't try to get this little mic cover off if you have just painted your nails. Use like a paper clip or something. Just take my word for it. We also have the micro HDMI and a micro USB port so you can connect your camera to your computer for live streaming and Zoom calls, transferring media. More on that in just a second, but I love that it has this Wi-Fi button here so I can turn the Wi-Fi on and have it connect to my computer, my iPad, my phone, pull off images, pull off video clips and start editing them on the fly. It's just it's such a no-brainer to have a button to do that. You can do it through the menu options, but I like the button, it's really convenient. You'll probably want to get either an extra couple of batteries or get an AC adapter, which works like this. You put the adapter into the battery slot and then you close the slot, plug the cable into the hole here and then plug it into your wall and you have Power. Now the M50 Mark II does have a 30 minute limit on your recording time if you're just recording a video you know, straight into your memory card. If you're live streaming or you're on a Zoom call or something like that, it doesn't have that limit. Now, I've never really seen this to be a limitation. I don't usually record for long periods of time at a at a time. A lot of people complain about this limitation. For me, it really doesn't change anything or affect anything about how I create my YouTube videos. I'm usually shooting here in my office or somewhere around my house. I stop and start, stop and start. Sometimes I just need to take a break myself, get a drink of water or catch my breath. Now, one of the reasons that I upgraded my camera last year and actually got two was because I wanted to be able to use a real camera with my computer for Zoom calls. I wanted to be able to show up to a Zoom call with the same kind of quality as I would show up to a YouTube video. And a traditional webcam just wasn't cutting it for me. With the M50 Mark II, this is made possible, one, because it has the clean HDMI out, which means you don't have to hack through the settings. And two, I'm using an HDMI capture card, which I'll link to below. Now, some people say you don't need this, it's not necessary. Canon has software that makes it possible to be able to use your Canon M50 Mark II with Zoom. However, on the Mac, that software is still in beta and I wasn't able to get it to work with either of my two computers. So for now, I'm just using the HDMI capture card. It works great plug and play. And actually I have a video on how to look good on a webcam, whether you're using a built-in webcam or a camera like the M50 Mark II. And I go over all the settings and everything. I'll link that up in the cards above my head. Speaking of settings, now I shoot 1080, 30 frames per second, pretty much all the time. I'm just I'm a basic girl like that. Um, the M50 Mark II does have a 4K setting, but you don't have the frame rates available like you would with 1080. I feel like if you wanna be playing in the 4K sandbox, the M50 Mark II probably isn't the camera for you. There are better camera options out there for that. Now there are two small things that I really appreciate about the M50 Mark II. And one is that they put the record button on the screen so you don't have to feel around for it on the back of the camera if you're you know, shooting with your camera facing you. It's right on the screen. You can tap it, hit record, tap it again to stop recording. And the other thing too, is that if you cycle through your settings using that info button, you can actually get your audio levels to show up on that screen as well. This is insanely helpful. You can see what your levels are as you're recording instead of just kind of crossing your fingers and hoping that you sound good. I mean, there's nothing more frustrating than recording a video only to find out that your audio 
kind of sucks. And actually I talked about that in my very next video, which I'll queue up here for you. But I also did a video where I walked through every single one of my settings that I use to record YouTube videos on the Canon M50 Mark II, which I'll link to um, over here as well. I talk about my ISO, f-stop, shutter speed, all those kinds of things, plus the super fancy but oh so affordable lens that I added to my M50 Mark II to get a more professional look. So I'll see you over there.